Hey yo, what is up guys? Akash here back with another video. Today we will be learning of how can we control an ESP32 and ESP8266 or an Arduino from an app called Telegram. I'm sure you must be aware of the Telegram app. Its logo looks something like this, something like this. And uh, the Telegram is basically a messenger app, an open source messenger app more importantly. Uh, so we'll be using Telegram to control this. I'll quickly show you a demo for the same for the ESP8266. And we can scale this project to the ESP32 or even the Arduino. So I'll quickly open the Telegram app. The chat bot that we'll be making to control this is already open. I'll hit the D1 on which should switch on this particular LED as we see and we get its uh, information as well. We'll click the D8 off. I click the D8 off by mistake. So the eighth LED is already off. So it says that D8 is low. Let's click at D8 on. So it should switch on this particular LED and it is on and we'll get a acknowledgement message over here as well. And we can type in custom commands. This is programmed using the ESP8266. So this is what we'll be doing. It's not only a one way communication that happens. It's a two way communication wherein you can get sensor data from the ESP8266 on your uh, Telegram app as well. The main advantage of using your ESP like this is you can do it over the internet. So you don't need to be in the same network. You just need to make sure that your ESP is connected to the internet and your Telegram app uh, device that you're using uh, should be connected to the internet and you can control your ESP or your device from anywhere around the world and that too entirely for free. So if you're interested in building this and uh, using this to program many other interesting stuff that we can do with this technology, stay tuned to the video for that. I recently came across PCB Gogo. They are a leading PCB manufacturing and PCB assembly company. They are currently celebrating their 5th anniversary from 25th of August to 25th of September. As a part of this, they are offering huge discounts and are giving away some cool souvenirs along with your PCB orders. For joining PCB GoGo in the celebration and to grab exclusive offers, head over to their website. The link will be in the video description box below. So for this particular project, you can use any of the modules be the ESP8266, the ESP32 or the Arduino. I will recommend using uh, either of the ESP modules and today for the project, I'll be using the ESP8266 as it is more popular than the ESP32. But the same code can be used for the ESP32 as well. So we'll be doing that. Basically what we'll be doing is using Telegram, we'll be controlling some of the GPIO pins of the ESP module. And we also have an analog input present uh, at the top left over here, that's A0. We'll be looking at the value that is thrown out by this on the Telegram app as well. So for this, you just need an ESP8266 module, some LEDs to test what happens. I have that circuit, uh, pre-connected over here wherein I have eight LEDs connected to inputs from D1 till D8. The other side are grounded so that uh, high or low on this can be indicated. And I have this jumper wire coming at the A0. We'll play around with this A0 pin and we will see the relevant changes on the Telegram app. The hardware is pretty simple for this particular project. All the main part happens in the code. Firstly, we need to uh, burn the code on this ESP8266. So let's move on to our computer for that. The code that you need for this project is already present on the GitHub repository. Uh, it's the espcode.ino. You need to go ahead and open the espcode.ino. You need to copy this code and paste it in your Arduino IDE. You need to change this SSID with your Wi-Fi name and the password with your Wi-Fi password, you need to replace this bot token key as well. We'll, uh, we'll generate this on the Telegram app very soon. Moving back, there's this library written by Brian Lowe, uh, which, which is the main heart of this project. It is the universal Arduino Telegram bot library that I have present on my, this GitHub repository as well. You can download this and paste it in your libraries folder to make this code work. Once you're in your Arduino IDE and 
go ahead and replace these three fields. Post that you can go to the tools menu, select the correct board. For us, it's Node MCU ESP8266. Select the correct COM port and then upload the code to your ESP8266 board. Open the Telegram app, then search for Bot Father. Hit the start or the restart button at the bottom. Send new bot command. Now you have to give your bot a name, I'll name it as an ESP8266 test. Now we need to give it a username, it should be unique, so I'll add my channel credential before that. So I'll name it CETech underscore ESP8266 underscore test. This should create a username for the bot, but uh, it says that uh, it should end in bot. So ESP8266 bot. This should create the bot. Now on the screen we have the token that we need to enter in our Arduino IDE code so that we can communicate with this bot. So once your bot is created and you have pasted the bot token ID in your Arduino code and then uploaded your code into the SP8266, you'll be at the same stage that I am right now. I've just uh, uploaded the code with my particular bot token that I created and I have the telegram app open with me. There you go. What I need to do is firstly, I'll just connect this to the power so that it gets connected to the internet. Meanwhile, while we are opening our telegram app in our telegram app, I'll simply search uh, the the bot that we had created. It was ESP8266 test that we had created. Once we open that, we will see a start or a restart button at the bottom. We just need to click that. This will initialize the menu and we'll have the menu pop up soon. There you go. We have the menu that we had programmed in our code. We have multiple options that we can play around with. Firstly, we'll click on D1 on. This is the command. We can also type the command on the keyboard, but I feel that it's easier to use from here. So it says D1 is high. And as we can see that this LED glows, we can switch this off. So I'll quickly write the command instead of uh, clicking it. So I'll write D1, then I'll write off and I'll send this command. This command gets to the telegram server. It connects to the ESP8266. The LED shuts off and the ESP8266 sends a response to the telegram server, which is received over here. So similarly, we can toggle other LEDs. Let's try D8, which should toggle on this LED. And yes, it does. We can once we receive the response, we can say let's switch on D7 also. So this should turn on and it does. The response time is pretty good in this case. And uh, that is what we want from a smart home solution that we'll try to develop using the Telegram app. This was a one way communication that we had where we had switching the outputs on and off. We also have an analog input pin over here. I'll quickly connect this to the ground pin so that the value of the analog pin gets to zero and I have programmed a command which says when I press a zero, it will read the value of analog pin zero and will return it to us. It should be zero. Let's wait for the response. And it says the sensor value as zero. Now I'll quickly connect this to the three volt value. Although the ADC on the uh, ESP8266 module is uh, up to 1.8 volts. The A0 uh, message should return a value of 1024, which is the which is the maxed out version. So we have just kept send the A0 uh, and it says 1024, which means it, the ADC is maxed out. If I now keep this as floating and it, it returned it a couple of times, this is something that needs to be fixed using our code. Now I'll click the A0 button. It's floating and it should give me some garbage value. It says zero by default but I'll send the value again and let's see what value we receive. It says 99, which is a rough value, a garbage value, you can say. So yes, the analog input pin is also working and reporting it to our Telegram app. So this is how we can create a chat bot using which you can control your ESP8266 or ESP32 projects. There, there's a lot of applications that you can find over here and you can even combine many uh, controlling techniques. So I had done a video which you can find from here, which was controlling ESP devices over Alexa or Amazon Echo devices. So you can combine that with this and you can kind of 
control your devices using multiple things and multiple platforms you can also combine in mqtt the library that brian has written is pretty interesting and pretty detailed there are a lot of stuff that can be done using that library so i hope you like this sim short and simple project and you will be implementing this into your projects i surely will and that's it from my side for today thanks for watching subscribe to our channel if you haven't till now also hit the bell icon to stay notified this is our first signing off